rattling in my trunk, go boom. Bay to the yo, yo, this is Street PhD 21. Let's get on the subject about the uh, the uh, Sigma Alpha, you know, on the dating scene. See, dating the modern women today, they got so much luggage with them. So, you know, when especially when you start dating the eights, the nines, and the tens, you know what I mean? Uh, you definitely got to have your game together and your things together far as all your tools that you need. You know, you got to have your bag together. Okay? Because, see, when you get into the eight, nines, and tens, they used to have men that approach them that has money. Okay? Not saying that you're going to be treating like a simp or a beta, but they must know that you got some kind of income that actually uh, that fits into their world, okay? So, see, the Sigma, when he approaches the females, he don't approach the females and put his hand on the table and let the female know everything about him right away. The Sigma don't even operate in that manner, okay? See, the Sigma way of doing things is he get the female to talk. Let the female do most of the talking. Because, see, the female likes to talk. But she wants someone to listen to her. See, if you really listen to what the female is saying, she'll tell you everything that you need to know in order to keep dating her. And even taking it a lot farther. Okay? She actually lays out the map and show you how to get to her heart. All you have to do is listen. And see, the Sigma is a very good listener. And see, he allows her to talk. And he gets involved with the conversation to keep her talking. Okay? So if you just sit and listen and don't say anything, she would think that you're really not paying her any attention. So you need to sit there and you got to keep engaging in the conversation and allow her to keep talking. And what you want to know is, okay, uh, her lifestyle, the things that she likes to do. See, the Sigma keys in on those things because he wants to know everything that she likes to do, things that she don't like to do, what type of guys that she had in the past, that she liked, the ones that she liked. See, the ones that leaves the biggest imprint on that female is the ones who she stayed with the longest. Okay? So you kind of want to know how long did these relationships last. If she says that she had a bunch of short-term relationships, then it's nine times out of ten, she don't even know how to deal with a long-term relationship. So that tells you right there that she's just going to be a short-termer, okay? So you can put her on the roster and make her short-term, okay? You can't put too much energy in her because she don't even know how to make anything last, okay? She, she just don't have that much uh, knowledge in relationships, okay? And it could do a lot with way... Uh, how she was raised, you know. Uh, usually, if they raised in a one-parent home, they don't know anything about how a marriage type of relationship works. They clueless, and most of them don't want it anyway, because they feel like it's too much stress to be inside of a relationship with just one dude. Okay. Because, see, they like to keep their field open. They like to play the field. They like to pick and choose, okay? And they don't really care to stay with the guy that long because they just want to keep single, pick and choose, and the guys just have to wait in line until it's their turn. So the Sigma picks up all of this when he's in a conversation with her. This is why he directs her and try to guide her into how many men that she's been with. What's the body count? That's what the Sigma want to know. 
What is her body count? Okay? And how many relationships she's been in within the past year or two? Okay? So that gives the Sigma a good information and it gives him like a, a range of, you know, it gives her some points or it takes away a point. If the body count is, is large, then it knocks down a lot of points. If the body count is small, then she gains some more points with the Sigma. Okay? So that's how that works. So you allow the female to initiate the conversation. And you just go with it and let her talk her heart out because that's what she want to do. She needs a listening ear because see, most people that she come in contact with, they really don't listen to. It. They mostly, the guys that, you know, especially the betas, they going in and trying to get the draws and then they putting all their hands on the table, which is really unattractive because see you go in there and you start talking about your job uh even your ex and all of this stuff you know that kind of bore a female so it's to keep from boring her with your lifestyle allow her to tell you her lifestyle okay and you sit and listen and you engage in a conversation allow her to tell you everything about her that way you know how good she is, you know what I mean? You put her on, put her on that normal point, okay? Her well, body count, like I said, if it's small, she gets some more points, okay? That makes the sigma uh, more, much more interested in getting with her. See, the less body count that she has, yeah, that's, that brings in a lot of interest, okay? Because see, the sigma don't want the fruit that hangs from the bottom of the tree where everybody can get their hands on. You know, so even the eights, nines, and tens, man, they can get around and they can have a large body count. So you have to find out what that body count is because, see, the body count definitely means something to the sigmas, okay? Maybe not the betas or the simps because they all factuated on her looks, you know what I mean? And everything that she did, they just really don't, they don't even want to hear about it or see it, okay? They just want, they just want them looks and get in the bed with them if they can okay so but the sigma ain't like that because see the sigma ain't looking for no traps the sigma wants the top shelf and the sigma wants their body count down real low okay because he he has the reputation that he needs to keep he don't want to be with a female where everybody in town know about her and up been with her you know what I mean? That makes him look like a beta. So he ain't trying to look like no beta. So this is why this, the Sigma always tried to get into the, get the female into that conversation so she can talk about her. You know what I mean? And you definitely want to know her past relationships. Yeah, that means a whole lot. What kind of dudes that she messed with? Did the dudes have money? You know what I mean? So if, if she mess with only dudes that have money, then that makes it, uh, she gets some more points for that. But if she's a good looking female in the eight, nine, and tens, and she messing with Ray Ray and, 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 and Pokey, you know what I mean? That ain't gonna do, that ain't gonna work. So the Sigma gonna back all the way off if she's, you know, messing around in the streets with Ray Ray and Pokey, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, so, that's why the, uh, the Sigma sit back and really get into a conversation with the female to learn everything about her. And then he'll let her know bits and pieces about him. Because, see, the Sigma always holds back uh, personal information about himself. You know what I mean? It'll take a female a long time to learn everything about him because he just don't offer that kind of information easily. He have to trust you. He have to be around you. He have to know a whole lot about you before he allows just a little bit about him. So that's why he's a kind of a mystery guy. You know what I mean? The Sigma is a mystery man. And that keeps the female very intrigued about him because he's just not a loud mouth and going to just tell a female everything about him, even to how she can conquer him. You know what I mean? Because that ain't going to happen. 
See, the, fig, the, the, the sigma is not going to be conquered by a female. Not going to happen. Because he dances to his own tune. And the female has to follow him. Okay? He rules. The female don't. In his world, the sigma's world, he rules. He's not going to allow the female rule on nothing. Okay? So he calls the shots. And so as they conversate him, he, the more and more that they conversate, the female will pick up on that, that energy that he has. You know what I mean? That he has a masculine energy. You know what I mean? And he's very confident. Because, see, if you have confidence, that's halfway, you are halfway in the door. You must have plenty of confidence, especially when you're talking to the tens, the eights, nines, and the tens. Those females are very beautiful, and a lot of men, uh, come, you know, approach them. But a lot of them don't have that confidence, you know. And getting one of them, the sigma, is overdrive on confidence. Okay, he's not only overdrive on confidence, but he is overdrive on masculinity, and he's smooth with it, and he got game. Okay. And he's a listener. So the way he listens is the way he knows how to treat this female. The female is going to let you know how she wants to be treated. All you have to do is really listen to what she wants. And the things that she's been through. And the things that she doesn't like. Even amongst her exes. You know what I mean? So... That gives that Sigma all the information that he needs to conquer her, to get the heart, get the key to the heart, okay? That's what the Sigma is after. He's not only after the heart, but he knows that he must get the mind. He must control the mind, the heart, and the soul of the female. Okay, so he don't just go in, just go get the panties right away. No, he wants to know everything about her so he can know how to deal with her, how to control her to get the things that he wants. Okay, so that is the way the Sigma moves. And he don't rush into a date. The Sigma, how he works He'll set the date a week later. Most females want to set the date the next day. Sigma don't operate like that. Because, see, what the Sigma want to do is come and say with her first. So when he asks her out on a date, he wants that date to be on his terms, not hers. So the Sigma will set the date a week after meeting the female. But in between that week, the Sigma wants to conversate with her on the phone. He wants to learn more about the female. So by the time it comes to the date night, the Sigma is well in tune. He knows everything that she likes and don't like. For all the way from the food that she eats the places that she likes to go and don't like to go, all of that. He has all of that information. So when he sets the date up, okay, he sets the date up a week later. So he'll find the, the restaurant that she loves to eat at, okay? He even likes to know the colors that she wears, the colors that she likes, because she checked it out. See, when the Sigma shows up on date night, He's wearing some of the colors that she likes. Okay? So that helps with the communication bit. That helps in getting him what he wants from that female. And usually, Sigma, although he don't really take it on the first date, the female is always out for it. On the first date. Because, see, you done talked to her that whole week. 
on the phone, texting back and forth, talking, communicating, okay? Learning everything, having long conversations. Even at night when she's laying in the bed, all relaxed, that's when the sigma most want to talk to the female. It's when she's on her downtime, okay? So when she's on her downtime and she's all relaxed and took a shower and everything, and then she's laying back in that bed or on the couch chilling, that's when the sigma goes to work. Okay, that's when the that's when the sigma start uh, coming with the smooth conversation. You know what I mean? Talking real cool and smooth, not rough and tough. He's a smooth talker and a smooth operator. So when she's laying back and she's relaxed, and you're talking that smooth talk. It's hitting her all kinds of ways because, see, you know what she like and you know what she don't like. So the Sigma like to introduce her to things that she haven't even heard before or even seen. Okay? He talks to her and, and, and give her compliments on all kinds of things. And so when the date night comes up, check this out. This is what you do, young lions. Listen to me clearly. When the date night comes up, she's going to do everything to make herself look even more better than she do just on the normal. She's going to take pride in the pretty and herself up. So when you first meet her on that date, Give her a compliment on her hair, her nails, her outfit, okay? Her shoes. Women love to get compliment on their shoes. They big, big fans on people giving them compliment on their shoes, okay? So give her a compliment on her shoes, her hair, her nails, because you don't see them went to the shop, nail shop. You know what I mean? She don't put some money into herself because she want to look good for that day. Especially because, see, most Sigmas, they're real neat, clean dresses. So the female knows and sees how he dresses. So she wants to top that. She going to do everything in her power. She going to put some money into herself. Okay? So when you meet, give her that compliment off the top. Don't even waste time with it. You know what I mean? Let her know how beautiful she is and give her that compliment on her, nail, her hair, her nails, and her shoes. You know what I mean? Then outfit. You know, every, you know, let her know that she really put herself together. That makes her feel real good. Because, see, a lot of the uh, relationships she's been into, she didn't get that much notice even from her dude. Because, you know, she can get fully dressed and her dude won't even pay attention. So she wants attention, and that kind of attention gives you a whole lot of points with that female. Trust me on that. Always give a female a compliment on whatever she done to herself, you know, as far as a hairdo, nails, shoes, whatever. Always give a female that kind of compliment. That's going to get you halfway there. Trust me on that. So, yeah, after the, uh, the Sigma done complimenting and everything, he takes her in for, her, you know, to, for the dinner. You know what I mean? Or wherever you're going to take her, but mainly, you know, you want the first date on a dinner. Take her to a nice restaurant. Make sure she gets, usually, the female prefer you to order. This is why you need to know what she like to eat, what she don't like to eat. You remember this stuff. So when you take her out to a restaurant and they bring the menu, you can impress her and lay the menu down and don't even look in it and order her a meal. That's impressive. Females love that kind of stuff. So you, you, can, you can impress her just by laying that thing down, ordering the stuff that she likes because you know she likes it because she told you. You listened. That makes her feel so good. 
And so that helps the conversation out. You know what I mean? You're talking. You already talked a week. Remember this. You already in the door. Now that you done ordered her a meal without her even want to look and see what, you know, hey, man, that's impressive. And it's something that she really likes. You know what she like. Remember? She told you. Okay? You wearing the colors yourself that she likes. You might pop up wearing the same colors together like y'all a couple. Okay? So, yeah, you want to do all of that, man. So, that's how the Sigma operates. And so, it's 9 out of 10 that he can actually get in the bed with her that first dinner date. Because he talked to her a whole week before. That's how the Sigma don't waste any money. Okay? He knows what's, what can happen once he take her to that date. He don't have to guess about it. This is why he's so confident when he reaches the female. He's real confident because the female done already told him everything he needs to know. So that gave him a whole lot more confidence that he can get what he want out of her. Okay? So that's how that works. So, you know, I don't want to just keep going on it because I can go on a lot more. I'll be talking a whole hour. But look at here. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to take up, you know, we'll make another video. Uh, for right now, just give me a thumbs up. Help this video spread around. Even share it. You know what I mean? See, I want to get to start doing some streaming too. You know, so I can bring other people on. You know, females. You know, some of the dudes. You know, just get, get the conversation started. So, I'm just starting out. You know what I mean? So, y'all give me some likes on the, on the videos. And try to help spread them around. And, uh, you know, we go from there. But for right now, peace. Till the next video. Thanks.